It's everything that's happened. It's got to be told and shown. It's a lesson to be learned. I had tried bazooka, didn't want that. I tried flamethrower, didn't want that. So I went to the company commander and asked him about being first scout. You want to be first scout? I said, yes, I would like to try it. Every night I said my prayers. Once you got in the foxhole, if you dug the foxhole deep enough, you'd be comfortable. We stood up at night and moved around and laid down during the day. Because we were scared. You just live with it every day. You don't think of what might happen tomorrow or something. It's, it's already happened today and yesterday. It, that's always fresh in your mind. Who helped win World War II? It wasn't just us. And who did it at home? It was the girls. I just took off for New York in a bus and stopped along the way to try and get a flying lesson, got to New York. There I met Jacqueline Cochran. She called me and told me I've got authorization to form the Women's Air Force Service Pilots, but I need women with lots of experience, but mostly lots of guts. We were to pick up some planes They'd been through all they were gonna go through, and they had brought them to the States, and we were to fly them over to the place where they would be taken apart to see if there was anything left with them. One time, I was on a trip and just knew I was gonna to have to land, and there was an airport there, and they immediately came out and took the airplane in and then they came out and said, Lady, you came in on a wing and a prayer. They had forgot to put the wrong steel in the valves when it came out of the factory. But I started to cry, I remember. And he said, why are you crying? And I said, I'm crying because I'm thinking of all the other people who went out of the factory this morning with the wrong steel in the valves and might not have made it. All the time that we were in the service, the girls that were killed could not put a flag on their casket. And if a girl was killed, they wouldn't even let them put a gold star in front of the window because she was not a member of the Air Force. And this went on for 35 years that we were nothing. If you're interested in exploring oral histories, there are several sites to check out. You can explore oral histories at the World War II Museum, the Holocaust Museum, and the Library of Congress. If you're inspired to conduct an oral history project yourself, we have great interview tips from student reporter Jaden Jefferson to get you started. Who will you interview first? Be sure to tell us in the comments section and follow STEM in 30 on Facebook and Twitter. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.